What is up guys, welcome back to another Rust Tips, Tricks, and Guides video. Now this one, I want to show you guys something that a lot of people are probably wondering, how do you do it? And it's really not a complicated puzzle, it's really just a jumping puzzle. We're going to be looking at the Dome Monument. Now this is Rust Console Edition. So yeah, I've been literally trying to record this video all day for you guys, and the dome has just been such a hot area. So when you guys are doing this, make sure to be careful, make sure you have radiation protection as well. As you guys can see, here's my radiation protection, as you guys can see it says 12. That should be enough for this monument. So when you do get to the dome, you guys just want to follow what I'm doing here. First thing you want to do is look for this long pipe right here, right? And you just want to run all the way up the pipe. We can go over everything that's on the bottom floor later. Maybe at the end of the video. But yeah, you guys want to be careful because this does get really slippery. But yeah, jump right here. There's probably usually a uh, crate that spawns right here. So in this guide, there's probably going to be a lot or a couple of the crates that I just don't get or don't spawn in. Just because people have been doing doom all day. So yeah, you want to come up this skinny pillar right here. Do be careful though. So now pretty much you guys just want to follow the path that I'm doing here. So usually I think a chest or two spawns on this first layer right here. And then you can go down here for extra chest. Extra crates, whatever, whatever. Boom, boom. So yeah, as you guys can see, there's really not many that spawn. Um... Shit. As you guys can pretty much see, there's really not that fucking many of these. Just because people keep looting dome over and over again. So I'm just kind of going to show you guys, like, you know, the path uh, that you want to take. Oh, look at that. There's a crate over there. So yeah, just follow exactly what I'm doing. Sorry if I can't get any crates in this video. Hopefully the crates at the top respawned at least. Alright, so here's where it starts to get really tricky. It's been pretty, you know, pretty easy up until this point right here. So this is one of the first jumps that you want to make. Ugh. I kind of jump to the side just in case there's a little bit of insurance. If you want to, you can crouch just so you can go a little slower. But you're going to want to jump again. You know, it's, it's pretty uh, heart racing stuff, I'm not going to lie. But yeah, alright, so you're gonna come right here to this little skinny part. I usually just like to crouch for these parts just so I can have a little more accuracy. Plus, I use auto run, so uh, my guy starts running out of nowhere sometimes. No, not one way you can get up there, you can jump right onto this pipe right here and follow that all the way around. And you can get up through there. But I don't really uh, recommend that one because just as it's dangerous and you can take this path where you'll be able to find even more crates so yeah if you come in here there would be even more crates up here um unfortunately they've all been looted before i could uh, film this video i mean i've been trying to film this so many times <sighs> all right here's another one of the tricky jumps so you kind of want to do this jump like you want to jump at the very last possible second that you can but you don't want to like try to force it to the point where you fall off. So just be careful. One thing I failed to mention. Ugh. Okay, fuck. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Fucking auto run. Alright, so you guys pretty much seen an example of what happens when you fuck up, alright? This is why you want to take your time. This is why you want to go slow. Because I basically just broke my entire body. Oh my god. It's always me. It's always mine, dog. What the fuck? So yeah, man. As you guys can see, uh, uh, that's what happens when you fall. But I'm going to do this again. It's okay to fall because it happens to everybody. That was literally my auto run feature that I was talking about that failed me right there. 
And uh, yeah, I was literally gonna say, uh, this is why I usually say, hold on. Am I stuck? Dude, am I fucking stuck? All right, I was literally gonna say that you wanna put a sleeping bag outside just in case you do fall off so you can just respawn and get your stuff. In my case, my base is just right there. I literally got on this server for the purpose of filming this video. So uh, I literally built my base really close. So we're gonna do this again here. This time we're gonna try not to fall. Uh, come on, let me up, let me up. So yeah, we no longer have a bow and arrow uh, because I think my bow has glitched under the map. So hopefully we don't get attacked. But yeah, this is good anyways. I get to show you guys twice at least. So it doesn't really affect me that I felt too much. I mean, shit, this is kind of annoying. Alright. Boom, boom, boom. So we're almost all the way back to um, where we wanted to be. Gonna go slow on this one right here. Boom, all right, now we can run. Nice, and some of the crates are actually starting to respawn. See, I was actually kind of, I'm, ha I'm actually kind of happy that I uh, fucking died. Boom, so now you guys can see some of the loot you can get. All right, we're gonna try not to die this time. All right. So yeah, you guys want to try to stay as aligned as possible to this fucking this piece of metal right here. You just try to stay, try to align it to the middle of your screen. So yeah, once you do that, once you finally make that jump, even if you die, come back up. Just follow, follow what I'm doing here. You want to go up these two ramps. And uh, pretty much we're about to be at the best loot for this monument. You guys can see more barrels. So I, I think when you're done with this monument in total, you probably get around 300 scrap, like after you get everything and scrap everything, which is really, really good. So yeah, you guys just want to, once you get out here, you just want to follow these two ramps. Just keep following the ramps all the way up after there's no more uh, puzzle parts really to this. You just want to keep going up, keep ascending till you get all the way up to the top. And boom, we have reached the top of Dome. Now, like I said, guys, um, you know, this server has been populated with a lot of people that have been running Dome left and right, uh, especially as I've been trying to record this video. And I think it's just unfortunate. Somebody literally just ran it right before I, I tried this take. So um, that's unfortunate. But nonetheless i still taught you guys how to get up here once you guys get up here in your own game obviously there should be crates there if there aren't any crates there that means somebody most likely recently looted them boom there we go they just spawned right in my fucking face let's go in military crates oh man road sign look at the loot my boys look at the loot there we go that's what we're talking about here nice hqm so yeah as you guys can see I got a good amount of uh, scrap here and just really good loot in general. I mean, that piece of armor right there is, is a score if you ask me. So yeah, um, you guys probably want to know how to get down now. Getting down could be uh, a little bit tricky, but I can teach you guys some tricks that will make it easy for you guys. This is the regular way of getting down is kind of just following your path back. There is another way to get down that's a little bit easier. It's a little bit more risky, though. And I don't have the health for it right now. So I will take the regular way back. But on my way, I will show you guys how to get to that uh, spot that's a little bit quicker. Let me see here. Yeah, it's getting real dark in the game. Boom, I'm going to crouch across this again. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, so one way you can actually get down is by landing on those little pillars right there. And uh, if you just land on each of them all the way down, you should be good. Uh, just try to take as minimal damage as you possibly can. 
But if you guys don't want to risk it like me, uh, you don't have to. Just do what I'm doing here. Uh, kind of just, you know, take the same way you went up to go down. And you should be fine. There we go. I pretty much took this way back down for the simple fact that I wanted to, uh, I wanted to see if anything respawned, like some of the chests that I missed earlier. But man, I am, am I glad that I got to finish it right before uh, nighttime came. And here we go. I'll turn my light on. It's probably risking my life here, but this is so you guys can see. I am just, I'm literally taking the same exact route I took to get up here, back down, and boom, we made it back down. And I'm gonna run back inside my house before I get murdered here. <laughs> I uh, I find that take to be the most successful. So yeah, that's pretty much how you guys run dome. If you guys can see here is some of the loot we got, and this was just from some of the chests. Boom, you know, got some, some uh, coffee can helmet and a road sign kilt you know you can't be mad at that you can't be upset so yeah i hope this guide helped you guys out and hopefully you guys can run dome in your own games and this should hopefully be able to help you have a lot more success during your wipes me doing dome versus when i wasn't doing dome i've noticed a huge difference in my gameplay and hopefully you should too because you know you're gonna have better loot than the average person that doesn't know how to do their monuments and yeah so uh if you guys want to see anything specific in uh the next episode of rust tips tricks and gods let me know down in the comment section below if this helped you out leave a like leave a comment let me know um i'm curious to know how much you know how many people it helped it always gives me motivation when i know that it helped you guys out but yeah that's pretty much it for this one i hope you guys did enjoy it i'm out y'all be easy man